So there might yeah. be one, but you don't get the sense that that's there's a, a Numenera at, at, at active here at all, actually. Right, because I personally have the ability to telepathically link with people, so it could be something like that. In fact, I can't see. Could you link with her and find out what she's doing? If she accepts, then potentially, yeah. Well, you can find out. Um, yeah, can okay. you ask her? Sure. I, I, yes. Brother, last, you know of the minds and souls of people. Can you reach into her holy soul and, and question her? You do. You are, I might add, a nano who commands mental power. So Yeah. Sure. Um, I will see if she'll accept. Okay. So I will, um, I guess, reach out with my mind mm -hmm. and see if she accepts the, the telepathic bond, which co costs one intellect point. Yep. If you want to go ahead and roll that just so the text is up there. And it'll cost zero Absolutely. for you because it's free. If yeah, you have, you have one edge, so it's free. Oh, oh yes, you're right. That's, that's you can just works. keep your telepathy all the time. That's so true. I didn't even think about that. That's great. Okay, here. I posted it there. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's see. How should I do this? Um, I mean, let me read the language just so I know exactly yeah. what you're doing here. Um, I'm really so excited, you guys. It's two-way communication. Um, it can last up to 10 minutes. Uh, you can make it go longer with effort. And it just sound, it says speaking. So, it just says it's speech. However... Mm -hmm. Um, I would like you to make an intellect defense task. Ooh! And I'm gonna say okay. this is I'm gonna say this is intimidating. Ooh! Okay, so I'm res I have resisting mental effects that will drop it one uh, rank. You can spend and, effort oh, if right. you want, or you can see what happens. I'm yeah, because I'm curious. Like, would I have any inkling on what? Yeah, you can choose not to resist as well. Okay, but do I do I know do I have an inkling on like what this may be that's like going to rush through my mind? Like, is it an attack or is it like? Mm. Let's say that when you reach out, you, when you reach out, you get the impression that she is reaching back to you, and it's just. Let's say that, oh. uh, yeah, like higher bandwidth is coming about your back your way than you're sending. Okay. Her. The, then I will I will risk it and I'll allow it to um, to connect. Okay. So, Karner, Krail, Uraz, you look over and Etolas's eyes close. Yeah. And he begins behaving erratically. Etolas, I'll I'll just leave you there for I a moment. Him. <laughs> you what? I trip him. You trip him. I like playing tricks on people. It's a thing. Okay, so I'm going to check in with Etolas, and then I'll come back and see, uh, and we'll see what happens. So Etolas, you um, reach out with your mind, and then you see this girl. Well, mm -hmm. she doesn't actually turn and look at you, but you see her turn and look at you. And suddenly, you're not in Matha anymore. You're in a forest. <clears throat> And the trees here are made of silver shards of glass, and they wave in the wind with a strange tinkling sound. Uh, in front of you is uh, a strange, uh, uh, huge, eight-limbed tree person, uh, and hair of moss hanging down to probably this is a, it looks kind of like a woman humanoid, uh, down to her knees. She has twisted features and large claws. And there are seven or eight children around you dressed in various forms of armor, carrying bizarre and incredible weapons. One of them has a sword that's 10 or 15 feet long they're running around with. One of them has a massive cannon that they're shooting at this <laughs> huge, wooden, giant, wicked witch tree. Uh, and uh, and floating above them uh, with little orbs around her head uh, uh, is an angelic girl that you recognize as the one you had spoken to and they're connected to. She looks down and says, help us, come Etolas, we must defeat Karabara. And then she's shooting lightning out of her hands. Uh, this, <laughs> this wicked tree witch turns to you and says, I, I'll be eating you next and lunges at you. Please make a speed defense test. Yeah, oh that's amazing. This is amazing. Speed yeah. defense. Okay. Um, I think this is challenging. 
Yeah. Well, since since this is since I know this is in my mind, uh, could I, I, I use didn't my say resistance? That. I didn't say oh. that. Oh. Oh. Well, I, I guess Atolas assumes it is. He might, uh, but it okay, feels it, it feels was, real. Okay. You said I mean, you feel a, free. What? So you tell me how you react. If you want to let the creature grab you, we can find out how that goes. I mean, I don't want to. <laughs> he doesn't want to, but he assumes that like his mental prowess will allow him to like just you know push away from this. We'll see how that roll goes. What 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 uh, defense did you say this was? Uh, or difficulty? Uh, this is speed to get out of the way of the giant See, yeah. of Karabara, the Wicked w Witch. And then uh, what difficulty? Uh, this is uh, challenging. Ooh, all right. Um, he's going to he's going to be confident about this, so he's not going to spend any points. All right. Um, it's much funnier that way anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, oh, okay. Well, wow, oh, okay. natural 20. Yes. Whoa, well, critical hit. Your okay. confidence is well placed. So... Um, <laughs> this creature lunge, lunges forward, and as it does, you look up and you realize you see that it's got a big bar above its head, which is about two thirds of the way full with green light. Okay. Right? And as yeah. its hand swings, uh, you just step to the side easily, and it slams to the ground. Um, and there's this huge crashing sound, and electricity shoots out of it where it hit the ground. You, uh, but you, it, it lunges, it, it tumbles forward because you did such a good job of stepping out of the way just at the right moment loses his balance and falls to the tumbles to the ground next to you the children uh turn and start attacking it instantly the girl floating above says now now's our chance etalas has disabled her and she's shooting lightning into the back of this creature <laughs> go etalas um <laughs> that's what's happening Natural for you talent. Krail, you see etalas moving around like this <laughs> you stick your leg out and Krail and etalas just falls right over but does not wake up just smell it on the ground. On the ground. In fact, I'll say that you you lose I one can't. point of from your might pool from smacking your head on oh. the on the uh, uh, wooden walkway oh, well. here. Wait, does he perceive that as when he jumps out of the way of the witch? Yeah, I think so. I think that's what happens. Like <laughs> yeah. that's that's the feeling of you do dodging deftly. Like wow, you really felt French that. Yeah, you face. like in your head, you like matrixed it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, oh and so, Exilus, you're kind of like dodging around, and, and you're all rather impressed with his agility here, but um, he seems to be in another place. So I will, at this point, Exilus, th there is some part of you that's dimly aware that this isn't, you were in math, uh, you still remember this, you're not totally lost to this. So if you want mm -hmm. to try to resist and like pull yourself out of it, you can, or you can kind of like see where this goes. Okay. I I'm definitely intrigued because this is probably something... Something ancient, like Numenera device, uh, influenced by because this is like too too powerful for for any one person to be in charge of. I guess so. I, I will. I will uh, stick with it. For okay. Oh. So um, I'll say I'll describe one more thing that you see, and then I'll jump back to the other three. So um, they pile on this creature, and then the, and you see the bar quickly draining, right? As they <laughs> beat on it, and uh, then uh, 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 but she stands back up, this witch, and throws them off. And you see all of the little numbers appear above their heads as they hit the ground, and they're they have uh, little bars that go damage. down, and and uh, you know. Uh, one of them pulls out a feather and throws it out one of his fallen friends, and then the person kind of gets back up and seems to be revived. Um, you know, this sort of thing. Uh, so this is all going on, and there's this battle is just this long pitch. It's a boss battle, everybody. And, uh, you know, yeah. she conjures minions, and the fight goes on. And but and, and for you, it's it's just like a perfectly immersive kind of virtual reality right. uh, MMO or something you're, you're engaged in. But the rest of you see... Just Etalas has now joined the children in play acting some incredibly intricate and quite physically active LARP. Uh, fortunately, none of them have like thrown themselves off the railings or anything like that. Um, so th there's still some sense in which they're aware of like their surroundings, but they are like very throw they're throwing themselves into it. So like they could throw themselves to the ground and they jump up and they swing at invisible foes and they're shouting to each other, but it's 
it is. I mean, it's not super loud. Uh, actually, it's kind of like a stage whisper, you know, like, all right, let's do you know, this sort of thing. Because um, otherwise, after all, the, the rest of the village would come out. The other vill- the rest yeah. of the villagers don't seem to have seen this. The children continue to run through the village and like ducking in and out of dark places and continuing their play. So you guys all see Krail, Karner, and Uda see Exlas get swept up in this as this kind of little LARP just moves, on, moves along down through the village. Uh, wow. is Karner, Uraz, do we see any do? more of the ghosts, the the angels? Um, you don't see any at the moment. Uh, okay. Go ahead and make an intellect test uh, for to see, like to perception check. You know, effect. Oh, I got a seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Um, you don't see any of them, but you do uh, glimpse uh, the the fishermen uh, walking uh, up back up towards the one the varun the one we met yeah varun the one you met earlier he's just kind of uh, uh he is off in the distance walking upwards uh towards the uh actually towards the ale and scale so okay. the children have kind of moved on by this point and etrolas is starting to head west over towards the kind of western or i guess that would be the far right cheek so yeah. you know if you're looking at so the map i have an and, idea to help etrolas if you guys um okay. He seems to be uh, for all... Th- well, go ahead. What, what do you got to ask? So I have a cipher called a Mind Wipe, which flies in a short range, exploding in immediate radius, and all creatures forget the last five minutes, right? And I I'm, I know what this cipher does, and I know that Krail tried to wake Atulas up. It didn't work. And I'm like, well, this is, looks something mental because that's what Atulas, that's his power, right? I'm, I'm wondering if I throw this cipher at the leader and Etolas who are close to each other will it shock their mental thing and make like undo the whole mental thing whatever that's going on because to me it looks like she's sort of commanding him right that's fair um do you, uh does that so you want to go ahead and throw it I was thinking, I, 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 the others know about the cipher, so I, I, I tell them, like, I think I can use this divine armament to help our friend Etolas. And I pull out, and let's see, uh, the mind wipe, um, uh, the mind wipe looks like a, um, a series of interlocking rings that are rotating in a kind of weird geometry that's hard to actually look at very carefully because it, it's like kind of non-Euclidean rotations of these rings. Nice. Uh, but yeah. So, that's how it wipes your mind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's to make you go, oh, huh, what? In a break. So is everyone, I mean, you're at, so Uraz is asking if, if he should do this. Is that correct? Yeah. Yep. What do you, how do Karner and Trail respond? Yeah. yeah, if they say yeah, I toss it. Do it. Yeah, go for it. All right. So um, you throw this. Did I, I don't remember what level it is. It's a level three. Level three. Okay. So you throw this in the crowd, and uh, it's, you know, there, there's several. Try to ch- hopefully aim for the girl and Etolas, if possible. So you might have to wait a few minutes for Etolas to kind of like near, but they're all running around rather pell-mell. So you just toss it in there and ended up getting... It's an area thing, so it's not you don't yeah. really have to be that accurate. So there's yeah. this. What does it look like when this thing detonates? So to speak? Um, when the thing detonates, uh, the rings suddenly interlock and space around it, like for uh, an instant, like flickers. All right. So there's this flash, um, and space flickers there, and then uh, like as, as though you like blinked, but your eyes are open, you know. All oh, right, right, and uh, but so. They so the, the, all of the children and Etolas in the area stop moving. Um, and the children, just all of the children in and out of the area, eyes still closed, just begin to walk away back to their separate homes. Etolas is standing there uh, and you, begins blinking and it's time, you, you're on your way to the ale and scale.